Hello everybody and welcome to my second tutorial on Microsoft Access Queries. And this tutorial is going to show you how to create queries linking multiple tables together. So in the previous tutorials we showed you how to create a table a query off just one table. Um, and it's very similar to do one with multiple tables. So let's start off again by clicking on new and then design view. And then we're going to add in customers, the same as before, but we're also going to add in countries uh, and then we're going to add in cities as well. Uh, and you can highlight all three and add them in all in one go. Um, now you'll notice that they've got the lines between them representing that they've got a relationship. Um, so you can manipulate these relationships within here as well. So if I make this bigger just drag this down. So you can right click on the relationships, you can delete them, um, and you can also add them in. So say I want country name to link into country name, I'm just going to click on country name over here, drag it over here, and then drop it on country name over there. Um, so you can, so you don't have to have all your relationships set up beforehand, you can you can drop them into in this section. Um, so we've got three tables here that are all linked together. Um, and then this linking uh, is now going to show you how useful it is. Um, so we're going to put in our customer. We're then going to put in the city name from this table. And then we're going to put in the country name from this table. And now what this is going to do is it's going to go, okay, for this record, I'm going to have the first record, I'm going to have the customer name. And then want the city name from cities. Okay, so I need to go look for the city for this customer. Go across here, go put in the city name. So then I'm going to go, okay, I want the country name from country. So I'm going to go to country name, I'm going to look across to here, and I put it in the country name. Um, and then we can also put in the currency as well. And then if we click run on here, then you'll see that for each of the customers, you can see straight away now their city name which country they're in and what currency they use. Um, so that's how you would create a query with multiple tables. It's really useful. Um, just to note, you don't actually have to have all of the, the fields in the middle like I've used here. So we could cut this out by highlighting them and clicking on cut. Uh, and then running this you know, so we still get the same effect but without the fields in the middle so we've got the customer names linking through to the currency so this is going okay I've, I've got the customer name from here I want the currencies from over here so you need to look at the city go across here I've got the city go to the country name look across here and get the country name and then drop down and go to currency um, so that's how you use linked tables to create queries. Uh, again, have a little play around with it. Um, but that's it for this tutorial, a very quick one. Um, in the next tutorial, uh, I'm going to show you how you would query a, a query itself to, to kind of create a more in-depth query. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.